guys. Okay, so, um, it's been a few days, uh, since I was in the ER. Um, I had to go to the ER because my pick line had gotten pulled when I had my surgery on the 28th, um, for my GJ2 placement. Um, apparently the nurses on the floor I was on at Temple Hospital, um, didn't really know how to do a proper dressing change for a pick line. So it got pulled and then my pick line nurse, who comes out because I'm on IV therapy with my nice little dial, um, when he came out, we were trying everything to get it to still work. Um, we tried again for another, like, two weeks. And then, um, it just was so super finicky. I could not absorb my IV fluids properly. Um, I'm supposed to be on a liter of fluid a day. And it's supposed to run at, uh, 250. So it's supposed to take around two hours or so, um, sometimes a little bit more for me to absorb it. Well, it was taking over six hours for one liter of fluid. And that was because it just kept stopping and starting and things like that. So I went to my local ER after discussing things with my family doctor, so my nurse, and my family doctor and I all had a conversation over the phone. Um, my nurse was actually with me on my side of it. And uh, he called ahead, thankfully, and went down. Um, I do have a slight infection um, at my tube site. Not my pick line site, my actual tube site for my GJ tube. And I'm on triple antibiotic ointment currently. Um, and it's slowly doing its thing, you know, having EDS slows down my healing time immensely, but, you know, I'm getting through it, I'm able to deal with it, and, um, you know, I just do what I have to do. So, with the pick line, um, here, let me grab the paper real quick. Okay. So with the pick line that I got now, um, it is one that I no longer have to use heparin for, which is kind of surprising because I'm used to having to use heparin. So they gave me this wonderful card with all of my information on there. So it tells me that it's a power pick solo catheter. Um, and then they put the doctor's name who implanted it. Um, their direct phone number, the date it was inserted, which was um, July 10th, and then uh, that it is cut at 36 centimeters. So I am extremely happy that this time I actually got a card for having a pick line when my first pick line, I did not get any information, had no clue what to do with it until I had a uh, pick line nurse and um, the group Bioscript helping me. Um, so uh, with that though, um, I have discussed with my IV nurse from Bioscript, I have been asking about um, possibly petitioning my doctor for a port because of the fact that we know that there is not going to be probably any time that I'm not going to be on IV fluids. So it's just determining from the doctor what's going on. So, but that is what's happening. And I have my new pick line. It actually hurts because they stitched it in place this time to ensure it's security, but things are going well with it. And I just figured I'd give you guys an update. All right. Have a good day and be good to each other.